I absolutely love working from home. This is Whitney Kendall. She would not trade her home office for anything. Streets like this used to be full. Many Charlatans have moved home to be closer to family. Some are making the difficult decision to return to work. I get to spend a lot of time with my dogs. I don't have to do the 45 minute commute and a lot of traffic. And having my office here, I can kind of pop in and out during the day. So if I need to answer an email while I'm cooking dinner, I can just do that for three or four minutes. If I need, if I need to take a conference call at 6 a.m., I would do that. And I think that would be a lot harder if I had to drive to an office and do that before I was able to, to be online or be on the phone. But not everybody agrees. My preference is, would be, is to be in the office, all things being equal. I find that I'm more productive there. Um, I'm able, able to better focus on my work without being distracted of things at home, whether it just be household tasks or you know, other people or animals you know, <laughs> within the house. When I'm working remotely, it's kind of like it never stops. Like you find yourself walking by your laptop, you see an email came in, you weren't planning on working, but then you stop and you know, it catches your attention, you address that, and the next thing you know, you've worked for 30 minutes, it's kind of this home and work life just stays in this constant kind of blend together. A recent Bloomberg article has four points of advice for those wanting to work from home. Communication with your manager is key. Share updates on your progress. Hold regular meetings. Set clear performance goals. For the one to turn to in Charlotte, I'm Shannon Kendall with WCSB News.